Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to talk about how AI is used in the field of medicine. Now to kickstart things off, here's something that you might have seen circulating on the internet recently. This is Sony's new microsurgery robot stitching up a corn kernel. Now, equipped with a very tiny stereoscopic 4K 3D camera system and motion scaling abilities, this is essentially the ability to translate large motions of a surgeon's hand into submillimetric motions at the surgical field. The robot has been designed to help in the field of super microsurgery, which is a specialized field where surgeons operate on small nerves and blood vessels. Yet this technology is just one example of how AI is used in medicine. AI is in fact used for multiple purposes in medicine. Now its uses largely pertain to three key areas. This is detection and diagnosis, secondly treatment, and thirdly research and drug development. AI is making significant strides in early detection and diagnosis of diseases. AI is, firstly, trained with large data sets using deep learning where they examine several patient data and different biomarkers to develop what we know as predictive models, which then are used to diagnose or detect the disease in a patient. Now, an example of this in application is breast cancer diagnosis. The NHS, this is basically an abbreviation for the National Health Service in the UK, uses AI to screen for breast cancer. Now, this involves the use of what we may call a mammography intelligent assessment. This is an AI platform used to detect breast cancer. Now, it works by analyzing standard mammograms, these are x-ray pictures of the breast, to learn which features in the mammograms are signs of breast cancer and apply that learning to correctly diagnose cancer in a patient. Now, the NHS uses the mammography intelligent assessment by using it as a second reader in the workflow of cancer screenings. This allows clinicians to do work on things that humans and humans only can do, such as interactions with the patient. Now, another example of applications of AI in diagnosis and detection of diseases is in COVID-19 diagnosis. Now, as we know, over the past few years with COVID-19, there was an overwhelming need for rapid diagnosis and treatment of COVID-19. Now, to expedite the processes, the NHS introduced the National COVID-19 Chest Imaging Database, or the NCCID abbreviated, now, the NCCID is a centralized UK database containing chest x-rays, magnetic resonance imaging, or what we may call MRI, and computed tomography, CT images of COVID-19 patients. The accumulated sum of all medical imaging data hovers around 40,000 scans and are collected from around 10,000 COVID-19 patients across the UK. This large data set was used to train AI algorithms, which were then capable of recognizing COVID-19 related abnormalities in chest imaging. Now, the trained AI model was also used to detect signs of early infection in CT scans and x-rays, predict disease severity, and monitor the progression of severe cases of COVID-19 over time. Now, this is a really good time to discuss how medical ethics may be concerned in AI use in medicine. Now, for imaging and NCCID, they are scans of UK patients and UK patients only specifically. When an AI model is trained with a type of sample from a specific demographic, age or gender, it is likely to develop what we may call a bias. Now, the problem with this is when we try to use that AI model for patients with different characteristics from, from the sample that it's been trained with, it is likely that the error value will be very high. Now, let's look at an example of this. Uh, an example of this is um, heart disease in women. Heart disease is often misdiagnosed in women because of classical symptoms such as, for instance, chest pain and shortness of breath are based on studies primarily conducted on men. Women may experience more subtle symptoms such as nausea or fatigue, which are oftentimes mistaken for anxiety and digestive issues. Now, the diagnostic criteria in clinical trials have historically underrepresented women in this case, leading to the misinterpretation of symptoms. This is an example of how selective sample training may lead to formation of biases, which may undermine diagnostic equity. Now, AI has also been particularly useful in the treatment of disease, specifically with performing microsurgery, as we saw at the start of this video from Sony's microsurgery bot used to stitch corn. Now, one example of where AI has been useful is robot-assisted cystectomy.
Now, for those of you who may not know, cystectomy is a procedure used to remove bladder in patients with bladder cancer. Now, depending on the stage and the severity of the cancer, the surgery can also involve removing the uterus, which is then called the hysterectomy, or um, removing the ovaries. This is called ovarian cystectomy. And also, depending on whether it's a partial removal or entire removal, it may be rephrased as simple cystectomy or radical cystectomy. Now, the process of robot-assisted cystectomy involves a surgeon operating on a patient by using a console to control robotic arms, as seen right here. Now, the exclusive merit of this method is that it uses precise and minuscule movements, which allows for a minimally invasive surgery. The last use of medicine, AI in medicine, is in research and drug development. Currently in today's society, developing a new drug costs an average of around $359 million, and it can take up to 12 years. Only 5 out of 5,000 drugs make it to human testing, and of those, just one will be approved. Now, AI has been particularly useful in reducing the time for drug inventions. Take the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine as an example. Researchers were able to analyze patient data after clinical trials in just 22 hours using AI, a process that normally takes 30 days. Now, AI allowed Pfizer to quickly narrow down the potential drug candidates by identifying patterns in biological symptom data, which then sped up the discovery process for treatments like COVID-19 vaccines. AI also enabled Pfizer to leverage techniques such as, for instance, modeling and simulation, MNS, to test millions of compounds virtually before physical testing, optimizing time and resources. And that is just a glimpse of how AI is being used in medicine today. Now, from early detection to treatment and even drug development, AI is just changing the game. Let me know in the comments what you think about these innovations. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.